Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green and we are in the FA Cup. This is our competition. Look, we have had a hard time. I understand that. Things are not going well in the league. Um, we're up against Simon Mignolet today. Um, he is the goalkeeper for Sunderland, one of the best goalkeepers in the world, now playing for Liverpool. As you can see, we've had a lot of changes today. We're starting Fitz Hall, Ginger Rampage, sort of an old school swoodly pooper day. We're doing this mostly because the boys are tired. We've got James Collins and Leroy Williamson up front. I, um, you know, as difficult as things are in the league, we're still advancing in the FA Cup. We still have a lot of reasons to be hopeful, and I'm going to try to be hopeful. I'm also going to try to talk about uh, young adult novel movie adaptations today, but first I want to tell you my strategy for the day. My strategy is to, uh, is to have a lot of possession. Um, Sunderland are a much better team than us on paper. Um, they are in the Premier League, and, you know, my strategy is just to be patient, possess the ball, and trust that good things will happen if we just keep passing tiki-taka style. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so, why a movie? Oh, adaptations. Um, right now, uh, as you're watching this, it's very possible that I am on the set of the Fault in Our Stars movie. They're, they're the nice people at, at Fox are making one of my books, The Fault in Our Stars, into a movie. I'm very excited about this. It's also super weird, of course, um, but it's really exciting. Oh, if you had only not been in the way, that would have been a goal. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Um, but in general, the phenomenon of young adult novels being adapted into movies is really exciting to me. I thought The Spectacular Now was a, was a really good movie. Um, I enjoyed uh, City of Bones a lot and was really happy for uh, Cassie Clare that that movie is finally, um, is finally out there. Um, I'm recording, the, as I'm recording this, I don't know, I don't know how well it's going to, how well it's doing, because uh, it just came out yesterday, but um, I, I, I think it'll do well. Um, and, um, it, yeah, but, uh, this is, this is one of, oh God, it's one of many things in which you, um, you kind of have to speak with your wallet. This is also true as a reader, um, whenever people complain that there aren't enough of, of these books or those books, I always think like, well then, you know, make, make more of those books exist by buying the ones that do exist. We have a very broad reading culture I in America. Um, there is this tremendous breadth of publishing. It's still possible to read, you know, all kinds of, all kinds of books and hundreds of books. Great stuff by Fitz Hall. Hundreds of books come out um, every week. So, um, you know, we just need to make sure, I'm not doing what I said I was going to do, I'm not possessing the ball. We just need to make sure that we are reading the ones that we want to exist because when you sort of, you know, we live in a marketplace, like it or not, and when you vote, yeah, and your most important vote is the vote that you make with your wallet, and if you vote for uh, Spider-Man 19, they're going to make 19 Spider-Mans. Um, so, not that I have anything against Spider-Man, but, you know, you have to, we have to decide as a sort of movie-going public what we want to see. I really love the, the spectacular now. Um, I, I, I would love there to be more movies like that that adapt, you know, sort of realistic young adult fiction into movies. Um, now, obviously, I say that selfishly because it so happens that I write realistic young adult fiction. But I also like watching those movies. Um, it's true that they're quiet, That's the, uh, which is the kiss of death in Hollywood. The word quiet is like the, it's the worst thing you can say about a project. Um, and, but, you know, is, uh, I like watching really good performances from actors and really good writing. And, um, you know, and I don't, I, don't need, I don't need explosions all the time in my movies. And I, I've just kind of come to realize this in the last few years that um, I was sort of a block... And I, I still am a blockbuster movie watcher, and I enjoy them very much, but I don't want to live in a... Um, particularly given that film really is kind of the dominant way these days of, um, of experiencing narrative, I don't want to live in a world where, like, all of the pop, most popular stories are um, these sort of blockbuster stories. Um, you know, I, I want there to be, you know, super popular stories that are like Casablanca or, um, 
you know, breakfast at Tiffany's and things like that. Like, I, I, I worry that we're going to lose. Get it! Oh, I worry that we're going to lose that. Um, you know, that those those sorts of stories as the stories that are really central to culture and um, it's kind of like the public public understanding of story and narrative and stuff. Um, so I, I, I do hope that people, I mean, one. so I, I hope the Fault in Our Stars movie is good. I, I really think that it, it will be. I, I couldn't be happier with the cast. I couldn't be happier with the director and the people who are producing it and all, all that stuff. I think it's just, they all care a lot about the story and they're all very serious about it and they, they want to make something that people will watch um, and that people will enjoy, but they also want to make something that's really good. And, um, you know, that that's really exciting for me, but, like, we need people to vote with their with their wallets. Um, and I, I worry that it's it, it's hard because, like, movies are freaking expensive, and, you know, a lot of them don't even get... Oh, it's got to be! And it isn't! You know who just made that save? A Liverpool goalkeeper, Simon Mignolet. And you want to know the song they sing about him, Meredith? Um, he's our keeper, our Belgian keeper. He's Simon Mignolet. A Mignolet, 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 a Mignolet. He's our keeper, our Belgian keeper. He's Simon Mignolet, etc. Um, is that not one of the best football songs ever? Yeah. So hopefully, like, all I need is is to get to the pro. Oh no! Oh, Green Eggs and Fodering. Yes. Enzen Wesley Crusher Fodringham. I don't know why he t took your headphones off for that song. That was a beautiful rendition of the ham in, in Green Eggs and Fodringham. All right. Um, what was, oh, yeah, movies. So, I, I, like, I mean, I, I hope that... I, 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 ho I hope that City of Bones does well. I hope the Spectacular Now does well. Um, and, and because I, I want them, I want there to be, there are so many, there are so many books out there that could be made into interesting, that could be adapted into interesting movies. But, but Hollywood, because like movies cost so much more than books. I mean, it's insane how much more they cost than books. Um, because of that, it's really hard. Oh no! Show some courage out there, sir. Because of that, it's really, really hard to get them to sort of like take a chance. And that makes, that makes um, you know, studios really kind of conservative. Um, and, and, and I worry that like if they're, if kind of coming of age stories and, um, you know, lower, lower budget stories don't find the audience that, um, that these studios are looking for, I worry that, that, those we'll see fewer and fewer of them um i was very excited to see the book thief trailer recently i mean i think that that's going to be a very special movie um it's such a i mean you know such an amazing novel such an important novel oh it's a terrible cross you know what this game needs meredith it needs some bald john green oh but he's not on my team anymore so i'm gonna have to have other john green do it now i'm super sad because I was so excited thinking about how much I love Paul John Green, but he's not on my team. He plays for AFC Wimbledon. AFC Wimbledon, by the way, was one game away from not being in the football league anymore. They had to win their last game last season in order to stay in League Two and even be a team that you can play for in FIFA, and they did. And that's who Paul John Green chose to go. He's just, he's a fascinating character. Get there. Get there. Get there, Leroy Williamson. Oh, that's disappointing behavior from you, sir. Expect a little bit better. There we go. There we go. Oh! Uh, I'm probably not doing enough possessing of the stupid ball. So, um, yeah, please go see those movies. Not mine. Mine doesn't come out for a long time. But do please go see mine when it does come out. Oh, no! Oh, oh no! Oh! We're out of the FA Cup because I didn't hit the X button, I hit the A button. What the frick? Oh, God. Why am I so... Oh, I hate your... I hate your celebration. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. What am I doing with my life? Oh, my God. 
Oh my God. All right. We got Paul John Green and Andy Rooney on for the last five minutes. We got to find a way. No, sorry, it's not Paul John Green. Thank you, Meredith. It's other John Green. Sorry, I still live in a fantasy world. All right, we're going ultra attacking. We got five minutes. Well, three minutes now. Time's a waste, and this is a difficult moment for the Swoodly Poopers. We need a miracle. Oh. Oh, no! I gave the ball away for nothing. I get nothing. I don't even get a shot on goal in exchange for my... There we go. No! Oh! Okay, okay. We got one chance. No! Terrible trapping! Oh! No! Why do I suck? Oh, God. How did it come to this? Oh, no. I apologize to my friends and family. Please go see young adult book turned into movies and theaters. Oh, my God. Best wishes.